What is going on everyone and welcome to this video. This week we got another 0.50 experimental update. We have a new military base that's maybe not supposed to be where it is and we'll get to talk about that. Also introduction of horticulture and barricading now in the game. Uh, so a lot of big things have come in this update. Let's get to it and see what we got. Alright, so the location of the new military base, uh, it's just north of Severograd. If you don't know where Severograd is, it is west of Novo. I'm pretty sure everyone knows where Novo is. So, uh, as you can see right there on the map, north of Severograd, it's not that far up, uh, but it is out there just in the middle of the woods. So it's a pretty random spot for it. No one really expected it to be right there. Uh, no one thought a new military base would come into that location. We know about the one coming into Tissi, which is going to be all the way up in the northwest corner of the map, but that base is not finished just yet. So uh, we did get an explanation about this uh, military base from one of the developers. They said this ugly military base and experimental patch is not supposed to be here. So uh, there you go. I guess they think it's an ugly military base and it's not really supposed to be uh, where it is. I did end up going there anyway just to check it out and let's get to the clip and see how it actually looks. Okay, so here it is. This is going into the base and as you can see a lot of destroyed buildings and uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Overall, the base isn't as bad as that tweet just made it sound. Uh, that tweet really made it sound like this base was going to be the ugliest thing you're going to see. Yes, the hangars right there could use some improvement, uh, but I like having a new type of military base to go to. Uh, all the airfields pretty much have a similar layout so it's kind of nice to have something like this where we could come up and loot this place just north of Severograd. Now I don't think they're going to be keeping it. Oh check this out right here. I actually saw uh, a tree that's growing through the top uh, of the hangar. Not clipping or anything just uh, kind of growing through that open space. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah who knows if they're going to be keeping this. I mean they said it's not supposed to be here so uh, they will most likely end up taking this base out. But I do like it. Uh, I think this is a good little military base to go to. Not too much loot. You know, it's not too crazy. There's only the one prison that you see right here. And I think one or two barracks. And that is about it. But what I do like about this uh, military base is the layout of it. Uh, it's such a different layout compared to all the other military bases. Or like I said, different layout from uh, the airfields, of course. And... Yeah, so I, I do think they should keep it. I see no issue with it being here. Uh, here is the barracks. It's just if you keep going up into the base, uh, you'll reach the barracks area. Again, some more destroyed uh, buildings. It looks like some old barracks that were destroyed. And I think there is only one that you can enter, which is the one I go into uh, right there. Some more loot uh, inside of the barracks, of course. And here is something that I found pretty interesting. This is like an underground... Uh, area is just behind the prison uh, in this military base and there is a ladder where you can basically climb down uh, into this place. I've never seen anything like this before. Of course I did end up climbing down but as you can see the bottom part of that ladder is missing so I heard that if you climb all the way back uh, to the bottom of it you won't be able to get back up since that uh, bottom part of the ladder is missing so I just decided to uh, climb back up. Uh, pretty interesting I'm not sure what the purpose of this is but it's pretty cool to look at anyway uh, moving on to the top part of the base there is two buildings up here at the very end of it and also a uh, truck that you can loot overall pretty cool looking military base I have no problem with the way it looks uh, let me know your thoughts down below now that you've seen it and let's move on and see what else we got in this update so we also have some new sounds for the MP133 shotgun. This is the shotgun that was added into the game last week and the new sounds are new reload and pump sounds. I gotta say I like how these sound and I'm glad they ended up adding them so uh, let's get to the clip and you'll get to see how they are.
So let's look at the sledgehammer. Uh, it was invisible in the last experimental, they ended up fixing that so now we can actually see how it is and it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's also pretty good at taking out zombies as you'll see here in the next clip. I go up to a zombie and I think it was two hits and the zombie's down so not a bad weapon to use against zombies. So it seems like they tried to add uh, the ability to fix your items and clothing with duct tape. As you can see right there, it gives me the option to repair my hoodie uh, with duct tape. And then after doing so, it does say at the bottom, I've managed to reinforce uh, the item with tape quite well. Uh, it didn't look like it repaired it to me. I took it off and even put it back on and it still looked the same. So it looks like this is something they tried to add in. Uh, but it's not currently working in this experimental, so hopefully that gets fixed before uh, 0.50 stable is out. I also heard that this works on raincoats and other clothing items, so uh, it's nice to see that we actually have a use for duct tape now in 0.50. There is also a new animation when you ring out your clothing, so you can see it there. I do try it on my red t-shirt, and uh, the new animation does look pretty cool. Uh, it's different from the last one, and it makes a little bit more sense. I uh, just wish that you know something would appear in your hands uh, when you're doing it. But uh, overall, pretty cool animation, and uh, nice to see them working on uh, new animations every now and then. So uh, let's move on and see what else we got. You can now search for stones on the beach, uh, so you can see here I'm just in between Electro and Cherno, uh, but this works on any beach I would assume, and basically just go out to the waters, look down, and it will give you the option to search for stones. Uh, didn't take too many attempts, and I ended up getting two really quick, so I have not tested if this works inside of lakes, but it does work on the beach. So now you can search these hen houses that are all over the map uh, in all the cities and just random parts and towns of the map. Uh, you can search them for feathers. Uh, so I'm glad they added this in. It's another way to get feathers without having to run around and look for chickens. Alright, let's talk about horticulture and what has been added into the game so far. Uh, so as you can see right there, garden lime has been added in. Uh, this is basically like fertilizer for the soil. And what you will see me do in the next clip is actually go to uh, one of the greenhouses. And what I can do now with either a uh, farming hoe or a uh, shovel is dig up the land in the greenhouse and use this fertilizer on the soil. Uh, there are no seeds to plant just yet, but there are plans to introduce seeds into the game. Uh, there has been pictures leaked for tomato seeds, and hopefully there will be more uh, added after that. So right now there is no animation for using the fertilizer on the soil, but hopefully in the future there will be. Again, this is just the introduction of uh, horticulture into Daisy Standalone, and hopefully we'll see it expand from here. Metal wire has been added into the game and I'm sure it will have a lot of uses in the future uh, but as of right now you can use it along with wooden sticks to craft a snare trap. So from that you can make the new rabbit snare and after that it's ready to use. All you need is these two items, just that metal wire uh, which can be found just in normal sheds and then also woods which you can even uh, search for in the forest. So the rabbit snare is pretty easy to make now only requiring those two items which are not that hard to get a hold of. So with this update barricading has also been introduced into the game and uh, what we have here is a lockpick. What you can do with this uh, from what I've seen is lock or unlock any doors in the game. Uh, so basically I go up to one of the doors right here and I just hit lock on it. Now the door is locked. If uh, someone tries to open that, they're either going to use, uh, they're either going to have to use a lock pick to unlock it or uh, a melee weapon uh, does also work. I'm not sure if all melee weapons work, but the axe does work pretty well. Uh, as you can see right here, I just go up to it, give it a few hits and it slightly opens it and then uh, 
I can open it, I can open the rest of it from there. So, pretty cool concept right now, I can't wait to see what people do with this, and it is going to be pretty helpful, I mean, just imagine being uh, chased by someone or a few people, and then going into a place and just locking yourself in, it depends what they have, if they have grenades or if there's too many windows in the place you lock yourself, they may be able to get you, uh, but this changes the gameplay quite a bit, and I do like it. Of course the doors can be opened with melee weapons, so you still, uh, you're not completely locked in, but it's something. So, uh, hopefully barricading will expand even more from here, and uh, this is just the introduction of it. One of the new weapons, the repeater, did end up getting some sounds. Uh, this weapon was added last week, and this week we got some new sounds for it. I do like these ones also, and uh, let's get into the clip and see how they are. So as you just heard there, those sound pretty good, and that's going to finish it up pretty much. The only thing that I was not able to uh, get a picture of or any footage of is there is now a message that pops up saying uh, you have some infected wounds. I've been hit by zombies and I never ended up getting it, so I don't think it's something that happens too often. But overall, there was a lot that we covered in this video. Uh, this week's experimental update was definitely one of the bigger ones, and there was a lot in there. I mean, we got a new military base, uh, introductions to horticulture, and also uh, barricading new sounds for these weapons, and a lot more stuff that we covered. So, uh, pretty cool update. I really enjoyed it. I will definitely be playing uh, this update this week, and hope all of you are going to as well. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are new, be sure to subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button to show your support. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.